we declare to you what we have seen and heard so that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We're writing these things so that our joy may be complete. 1 John 1, 3-4 I stand in awe before your eternal plan to unite all things in Christ. Out of the entire human race, from the beginning of time to this world's dying seconds, you gather together the most unlikely people as a family. Politically left and right, rich and poor, crooks and commoners, adolescents and aged, skeptics and scholars, all united together as a family of Christ. In a world that struggles to live together with all our differences, you make your church a beautiful display of created diversity and gospel unity. I share in the joy of your heart as I read of your desire for your people in Psalm 133. Oh, how good and pleasant it is when brethren live together in unity. It is like fine oil upon the head that runs down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, and runs down upon the collar of his robe. It is like the dew of Hermon that falls upon the hills of Zion, for there the Lord has ordained the blessing, life forevermore. Three-person God, you are a wonder. God the Father, our Creator. God the Son, our Deliverer. God the Holy Spirit, our Sanctifier. United, and yet each unique. Sole God, but not solitary. Three, and yet one. Thank you for this mystery, that at the heart of the universe is a communion of love. As I listen to the passage again, I ask you, Healer God, to turn my heart towards this communion of love. I ask you to show me the places where I am excluding people from your kingdom. I am so quick to judge others for what is wrong in the world. Humble me, God, to first look inward to address my own sin and welcome your healing grace. Oh, how good and pleasant it is when brethren live together in unity. It is like fine oil upon the head that runs down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, and runs down upon the collar of his robe. It's like the dew of Hermon that falls upon the hills of Zion. For there the Lord has ordained the blessing, life forevermore. Triune God, as you build your church from the entire human race, you gather in sinful, broken people who long for your kingdom. You take us as individuals and build us into so much more than we could ever be on our own a spiritual house, a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. May your church flourish everywhere, and may my life be directed to the hope of your coming kingdom. 
Amen.